It was a defining moment in history. And in rap's golden age, it was the end of one era. And the beginning of the next. Four friends from Los Angeles. The ladies' man. The artist. The businessman. And the free spirit knew the time was right to start LA's first hip hop club. And we decided to start Jamaica House. And we packed the place out on the opening night. It's Jamaica House Night at Roxbury on Sunset Boulevard. We have celebrities always in the house. We have, like I said, the top acts performing and a lot of beautiful women and good music. And that's what makes the dress to impress crowd wait outside in long lines nightly. Let us in. We want to get in. It's all different types of people coming down. Tupac and Madonna came through. So that was back in when she was hot. Onyx. Far Side, Biggie, Mary J. Blige, and Puffy all performed. Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop, Tribe Called Quest, Fugees, Black Eyed Peas, Nas was performing. I had Cypress Hill come down right when they were first coming out. All of rap's immortal legends performed, including Tupac Shakur, Jam Master J, and Guru. It was good and it was a melting pot of people in there. I remember us making anywhere from on good nights from 50 to 60 grand. I've lived a lifestyle with women that a lot of guys dream about. When it became huge at the Mayan, it was fun in the beginning, but it turned into something very bad. The years of living in excess was starting to take its toll on the promoters. I started noticing that I'd come home, you know what I mean, just, just more sloppy, like, man, like, maybe I need to, like, cut back on the drinking. It took me into living a lifestyle, basically, that I didn't want to live. I am sitting in the apartment with 380 Beretta sitting next to me under the pillow and I had about an ounce of crack cocaine on a plate and the house gets raided. I was looking at a, a, at a, a, you know, a life sentence. But no one could have guessed that in one night the dream of Jamaica House would explode.